Dan Price, the CEO who rose to prominence when he cut his salary to pay his workers a $70,000 minimum salary. He's now stepping down as head of his tech company. That move coming amid allegations from several women of sexual misconduct, including one accusing him of rape. ABC's Phil Lipoff is in Boston with more. Phil, good morning. Good morning, Janae. Dan Price was a media sensation overnight. His words, his story went viral. National news outlets like ABC did pieces on his dramatic rise to fame. Some even called him the moral CEO. Well, this morning, his story has taken a troubling turn. This morning, the CEO praised nationally for significantly raising the minimum wage at his company is under fire and resigning. Dan Price stepping down from Seattle-based Gravity Payments, saying that his presence has become a distraction. Allegations of physical and sexual assault detailed this week in a New York Times article. So for those who worked closely with him, he could be a very erratic and at times toxic boss. The paper reporting it spoke to more than a dozen women who described predatory encounters with Price, who not only denies the allegations, but posted on Twitter, I also need to step aside from these duties to focus full time on fighting false accusations made against me. In 2015, Price raised the minimum annual salary at his company from $48,000 to $70,000. The announcement celebrated by many. And not just from employees, going viral with media appearances, including on ABC News and talk show interviews. When you make enough to pay your expenses, to have a good, healthy life, you perform better in your job. Just Support for his social media posts coming from many, like Casey Margus, a model and artist who says after striking up an initial relationship through Instagram, the two met several times over three months. Until Margus says one night after an argument, she explicitly told him she did not want to have sex and then went to bed. After taking an edible for insomnia, she says she woke up to sexual contact she did not consent to. So in my mind, it was safer for me to keep calm and pretend to still be asleep. That way he wouldn't escalate it and possibly cause more harm to me. Marga says immediately after the alleged rape, she confronted him. And I asked him, did you just rape me? And at first he looked away and was like, no, what, what are you talking about? She says she left the hotel room and the next morning filed a police report and went to the hospital for a sexual forensic exam. On Monday, police in Palm Springs, California, referred Margus's case to local prosecutors and recommended a charge of rape. No charges have been filed and Price denies the allegation, telling the Times he never physically or sexually abused anyone and that the other accusations of inappropriate behavior toward women in this story are simply false. Earlier this year, in a separate case, the CEO facing charges of assault and reckless driving during an incident in Seattle, he's pleaded not guilty. According to the police report, Price grabbed Shelby Haynes' neck, attempting to kiss her in his car. Haynes saying she pushed away his advances. And at that moment, I saw his eyes and just his whole expression just completely change. And it, it just really, really terrified me. Price's lawyer entered not guilty pleas on his behalf for the assault and reckless driving charges. There is a trial coming up in October for that. Price telling the Times in a statement he is looking forward to presenting his defense and proving his innocence. Wit. All right, Phil, thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.